This is the largest collection of beer cans in the world. Welcome to Brewhouse Mountain. Come on inside. Over the course of 40 years, Jeff Lebo has accumulated more than 87,000 beer cans. There are probably about 5,000 cans in this room. His collection is valued at a whopping $1.6 million and is kept in his holiday home, Brewhouse Mountain. It took me about two years to complete this place, but um, I say complete in quotations because it's never really finished. It's sort of an ongoing labor of love. Even if that love isn't shared by his wife, Laurie. I'm not all that interested in the beer can. I like the house, I enjoy spending time here, but as far as beer cans goes, I'm really not that interested in it. I started collecting when I was about 13 years old. It was sort of a fad that was sweeping the United States. And uh, in addition to that, uh, uh, I had a lot of friends in the neighborhood that also collected that sort of got me into it. My dad was also working for American Can Company. And that was the first can company in the United States to um, actually the first can company in the world to uh, patent beer cans back in 1935. Right here we have uh, the very first beer can ever to exist. This is the, from the Kruger Company in Newark, New Jersey, and it was test marketed in 1935 in Virginia. Jeff has bought and traded cans from all over the world. I actually traded with a guy in Sweden who was my same age, and we were sort of like pen pals. And I, to this day, I've never met the guy. He would send me 100 cans, I'll send him 100 back. And all these years later, he and I are still trading together, which is pretty cool. But having amassed such a large collection, he needed somewhere to display it. Well, I decided back in about 1998 to build Brewhouse Mountain. It was always sort of a dream of mine to have a place to be able to display the whole collection. Here we have the American room where people can stay. These are all cans from the US of A, cab top cans, which started in 1962. Here's the bathroom. Even the bathroom has beer stuff all through it. Jeff's wife, Laurie, isn't as keen on the cans as he is. If I were to ever get trapped in one of his rooms with all the beer cans, before I'd actually take an interest in that for mental stimulation, to actually look at the beer cans, I'd probably just chew my own arm off. But it's his love. I love my husband. I like to indulge his, uh, his passions. We've made it work for ourselves. We've made it work for um, our lifestyle. We're now renting it out as an inn. And it's amazing the people who have come to stay here and who are fascinated by this. Visitors can stay in Brewhouse Mountain for $469 a night. And despite Laurie's lack of interest in the collection, it seems the holiday home will be keeping its beer can theme. I don't anticipate ever selling the whole collection. It's, uh, it's actually really hard selling any of it because I've worked really hard to build it. I like um, being able to sort of preserve some of the social history in a way, um, especially these kinds of items because they were produced to be thrown away. They were never meant to be art objects. They were never meant to be collected. They were never meant to be saved. They were actually meant to be discarded. 